today to celebrate science, to celebrate young people's involvement in science and I've been here as part of the Rotary team judging the entries in the special category award which is for medicine and science. We've seen a variety of different topics that were, that were studied and some have been around things like earthquakes and landslides and some are much more uh, on the medical field, uh, genomics and on biology and looking at um, kind of cutting edge uh, technology and, uh, and other themes for, for studying different diseases. So it's been an amazing uh, different, you know, seeing these broad gr groups uh, of students uh, do different different projects and uh, we're really excited about the, the results from it. My project is looking at basic cellular functions which you can use against CMIC to control its expression and therefore possibly regulate cancer and tumor. I'm surprised and excited to be a finalist to be quite honest. I mean I didn't apply and I didn't expect to get through but I also didn't expect it to be this big a deal. I didn't expect it to be so vast. There's so many different uh, companies, organisations and so many brilliant young people here who are inspiring the next young people. research was done by a Nuffield research project. It was conducted at Newcastle University's Magnetic Resonance and Pet Centres and the main focus of the project was to develop a new method of imaging involving both a PET MR and a PET CT scanner which gave as clear images as possible. It's important for young people to study STEM because it allows you to just think, even if you don't go into a STEM career, it just allows you to think very analytically and quite unbiased about whatever you do in life. More now than ever it's important to um, understand what's occurring in the world and I think a key part of that is STEM. So I was looking at trying to reduce inflammation which could hopefully be used to treat a disease called MPS3A which is a paediatric neurodegenerative disease. To measure my earthquakes I use a seismometer which is sort of the general tool for measuring earthquakes. Um, our aim was to not use a thousand pound seismometer. We were using a cheap one which would generally be used in schools and to see if it would be accurate enough to measure these earthquakes. Um, what we found was over 90% of earthquakes over magnitude 3.5 could be measured. So the seismometer uh, measures the earthquakes, puts them into a computer chip that converts it into something the computer software can read and that gets put out onto a screen where you can see the earthquake happening live. Oh, 
Our project aims to target malaria in um, local um, areas by um, using small bores that uh, vibrate in order to break the surface temperature of the water, sinking the eggs of mosquitoes that carry malaria. Our project's still in constant development, I think, so we've still got future plans that we want to implement, and it's a work in progress. Encouraging young people to do science has a knock-on effect in supporting Rotary Foundation's six areas of focus. If we're going to solve the problems of the world in terms of disease prevention, then projects that look at dealing with malaria are vital to the health of the world. Thank you.